What is up, YouTube? Welcome to the long-awaited, long-requested, been too long since we've done one, full day of eating. Come on, come on, Chris. Come on, two more. Free time, Olympia champions. Come on, let's Wait. go, finish strong. We are officially five and a half weeks out of the Olympia and time to get shredded. So I'm gonna be taking you through everything I'm eating in a day right now. Pretty consistent, so, but it's been a while since I've done it. So I can finally say these won't be as boring as typical, but yeah, I'm really hungry right now. That clock is wrong, it's actually 9.45, but I still normally like to eat at nine, so I'm just gonna get through this. Breakfast consists of some oats, some eggs, and some protein, which I like to turn into the good old sebum protein pancakes, because they are delicious. But I have 90 grams of oats. I like to put them in the smaller heat thing here, and then I blend them, and they become more like an oat flour, and then they become pancakes better, so first step. <laughs> Take the bigger blender and then I put in eggs, egg whites, and the secret to good pump pancakes pumpkin. Good source of fiber too. That's the I put in. Alright, so egg whites, I do oh, be, around two, 210 to 220 grams. Egg whites. Egg whites I can go a little bit over because there's literally 25 calories for 46 grams. And then I do one whole egg. Just drop that in there. It's a weird looking egg. It's like blue. It's really organic thing. The Easter egg. Um, next step, put this in. By the way, pro tip when you're making these pancakes, if you make these pancakes, turn your burners on to begin with because you want them hot, not cool when they start. They want to be like sizzling hot. You want to cook these fast, otherwise they dry out faster. I put in the eggs, and I put my oats in here. Try not to spill them everywhere. Precious carbs. Oh. <sighs> Vanilla protein, all day, every day. I take the destroyed ones so that you guys can get the beautiful bottles. I go to the warehouse and take these ones. But always pancakes taste best when they're vanilla flavored in my opinion. So I do a scoop of bomb protein. You just go to them. Stand up right now. Getting hungry. I do a scoop of sun fiber. Don't ask what this shit is it's from Courtney, but fiber to help you poop. Do a scoop of glutamine. Great for the gut. Keep your gut healthy, and your body will be healthy. Dash of extra vanilla flavoring for deliciousness. And then some salt for a little extra flavor and some sodium gains. Right, oh, pumpkin. I always do this and then I forget something. I personally like to do 60, 70 grams of pumpkin in there. There's like literally no calories in this stuff. If you're like on a diet and you're weighing yourself out, you can substitute like five grams of oats and it's equivalent to like almost 40 grams of pumpkin because it's just like fiber in there. But that's everything in here. I personally am weird. And I'd rather thin pancakes and more volume. So I put a little bit of water in with this, just like a random amount of water. That makes them a little thinner, but it also gives me more volume. So put it all together, blend the bitch up, make some delicious pancakes. All right, so also I get really new pans at the beginning of prep and throughout prep. So I sometimes don't even put cooking spray on here. So you don't even get uh, extra fat from that. But you wait till these are nice and hot. You hear the little bit of sizzle. You see my pancakes are thin as fuck, but that's how I like it. If you don't add water, they won't be as thick. If you add more oats, they'll be more thick. All that good stuff. But no cooking spray, hashtag shreds. And I like to dash cinnamon on top of my pancakes when they're in here. So I just kind of cover them all in some cinnamon for a little extra flavor and deliciousness. 
then there you have it. Some beautiful pancakes. That'll get you shredded. the final product but I also get some delicious almond butter sadly I'm at the end so I can't drizzle it but I just kind of dollop some on there and spread it out after but I get 20 grams of heavenly delicious almond butter 19 close enough batter also tastes fire Look at that, they're almost like fluffy even, like a real pancake. They're not actually anything like a real pancake, but the pumpkin at least makes it not dry as fuck, so they're edible and decent. So, this is breakfast right now. Favorite meal of the day is what gets me through my cardio. It gets me up in the morning, you know, do 45 minutes of cardio right now and I can just think of eating pancakes after, and life is beautiful. So, meal number one, full day of eating, number one, prep 2022. 20, Welcome aboard, and I'll see you guys for meal number two. All right, so we're here at the warehouse new office area. I don't even know if I've shown you the warehouse, but the full day meeting, so if we do, I'll show you when it's a little bit more done. Calvin's, I don't know where the fuck Calvin is. So we actually have Grant behind the camera right now, filling in. We're gonna get copyright music because the kids are tuning out here, but I'm gonna heat up my meal, so we're gonna head to the lunchroom and I'll tell you guys what I'm eating in there. My beautiful meal, very extravagant, chicken, rice, and some green beans. Green beans always baked in the oven. I don't know why they taste way better like that. And that's it. I've been hardcore this year. Partly because of Hani. He said I'm not allowed to have sauces on all my meals. I used to always have like sugar-free ketchup, ketchup is life, Willie salsa, all that shit. And that's no more. So I have a little bit of sriracha sometimes, some Cholula sauce, some yellow mustard, and sometimes some coconut aminos because I love doing stir fries with coconut aminos. But when I'm at the office and you go to Tupperware on the road, I just eat it fully plain, just lightly salted on it and that's literally all it is. So this meal is 180 grams of chicken breast, 200 grams of white rice, and then like a little bit of green beans. Sometimes I do broccoli, sometimes I do nothing. It just depends on how I'm feeling. Or shredded lettuce to get shredded because you guys know how it works. But eat this up, eat it up, and try and get shredded. that I already explained what I'm eating. Nothing exciting. My next meal is the exact same. So I will see you for that meal. Meal number three, I like to eat three meals before I train. This is just like my work office meal. Get me through the day. Next one's pre-workout, so I'll see you then. Next meal is a bottle of water. Very crucial. Stay hydrated. Don't be thirsty. Don't be a thirsty hoe. Drink water. Alright, so this is meal number three. This is my white fishy fish meal. Release fishy fish of the fishy fish. If you remember that quote, you're a, you're a real one. But meal number, this is typically my pre-workout, but today is my rest day, so I am not going to be working out. But I have the exact same diet, rest days and training days. So this is 200 grams of white fish. I like to do haddock. This is haddock or cod? It's cod. Cod, we typically do haddock or cod because you can actually get wild caught haddock or cod whereas most other fish are farmed, especially tilapia, just no good, so don't eat that shit. Get wild caught fish if you can. If not, you know, you'll survive, but try. And so I have this, and then I fry it on the pan, and I add a little bit of rice, and that's all she wrote. You went to go to spray, babe. That's how you realized it was closed, eh? Uh, yeah. Cook and spray. You're getting shreds. <laughs> Finish it off with some beautiful 
shredded lettuce in order to get shredded. This stuff adds volume, tastes good, crunch, it's beautiful. Got some broccoli, 200 grams of white rice, which is about 64 grams of carbs. For those that love their macros, 200 grams of white fish, which is right around the low end of 40 grams of protein or so. So this is it, a little bit of coconut amino and coconut aminos on there, fried up and actually tastes really good. As long as you don't overcook your fish, it tastes great. So, meal number three, typically pre-workout, like I said, not training today, but what I'm doing, so probably gonna be in the sauna, rest, maybe stretch a bit, watch a show, instead of working out, and then I'll see you guys for my shake or meal number four. Don't even. Don't fucking even, Calvin. There's a hurricane Don't coming in. Don't even, Calvin. Get that fucking shit out of my fucking face. Wow, that's bad <laughs> language. What's it? Your dad probably won't hang out with you, but it's okay, you can go pretend. I'll make him hang out with you. Right, babe? Sure. Are you guys gonna die in the hurricane? Yeah. We're, we're taking Gronkowski. We're fucking Floridians now. I go to fucking Publix down the street and it's fucking closed because there's a little rain and a little fucking wind out there. Pussy shit. Can I feel about that court? Whatever. Get out of here. You can't film me today, Calvin. I have nothing to do. It's not, it's not that today. I don't like you guys, but like this is not the vibe. Make the vibe. Create the vibe. What Open up your vibe. Open up your vibe. Open up your vibe. Chris, don't I look like a little rat girl? You are a little rat girl. He calls me a rat girl. What a fucking perfect description. Screw up. I'm gonna go back to that. How do you go from drinking coffee to vacuuming? What do you mean? Do you ever feel like you bounce around like back a lot? Yeah, I've said that to you and you think it's my lack of focus, but maybe it's I have too much focus. Too much focus on too many things? Chris, whose uh, pre-workout stack do you prove more? Mine or Courtney's? <laughs> With layered, layered secret creamer. I think we all know that the best way to do it is if you want to pump intense focus and insane energy, be sure to stack raw pre and raw thabbage. Five scoops of each. You want to tell them about the new flavor? What do I was there to tell? Can you really beat that flavor? It's one of the goat flavors of all time in my opinion. It just tastes so good. It's like a slushy popsicle combined into heaven. Probably should release it in the summer, not in literal winter, but like better late than never, you know? Yeah, but real Canadians eat ice cream still in the winter. So meal number four. Typically I would have a shake right now, but I was in the cold tub and I was too cold to have something cold, so I want something warm. So I put on a sweater and I made some potatoes. And this is 350 grams of raw weight potato. I weigh most stuff cooked, but my potato, you never know how much they're gonna shrink and everything, especially in an air fryer. So I weigh all my potato raw. And having an air fryer is a lifesaver because you can just cook it in like 20 minutes super quick. 350 grams of raw weight potato, which is about 56 grams of <coughs> carbs and then another 200 grams of white fish. So the way Hani operates with all this stuff is he calculates the carbs from direct carb sources, the proteins from direct protein sources, and the fats from wherever the fats are coming from, but mainly focusing on the protein and the carbs and subtracting stuff along from there. So we're not counting the protein that you'd get from like oats and the little bits and rice and everything. So this is typically my post-workout meal, very delicious. I've heard somewhere that if you take your potatoes, cook them uh, and cool down and then cook them again or reheat them. That actually lowers the glycemic index and it's less likely to spike your blood sugar. So I try to do that when I have time to do it, but normally I just take them to the air fryer and they taste better like that. So I'm not, not perfect. But this is meal number four. Put this down, probably shake, and then last meal and hit the bed.
warm it up enough for a shake. I was gonna make it into not this, but I wanna enjoy some ice cream. So I'm gonna blend up <clears throat> some protein. Drop that whole thing on the ground. All right, so typically, like I said, this is my post-workout shake, but I'm resting today. But even on rest days, you gotta hit that protein goal, especially on rest days almost, because rest days are for recovery, not just for nothingness. So I'm making sure I still get all my protein in. Sometimes I think I'll get to the point where I'll have like a low day, a low carb day on my rest days, but we are not quite there yet. So I have two scoops of protein. I fill up like a good amount of ice and some water. If you're not on prep and you do this with almond milk or some kind of milk, probably not dairy milk because I don't believe in dairy milk, then it blends up a lot smoother. But getting up in a shake, 50 grams of protein and turn it into some delicious ice cream. The moment of truth every time, see how it worked out. Ooh, that's good texture right there. Kind of like a icy from Wendy's. Man, icy's from Wendy's. Dip your fries in them. I mean frosties. Frosty? What did I say? You said icy. Icy? Frosty. Frosty. Dipping your fries in them. Maybe you dip you, what the fuck? You joking? That's disgusting. No, dude, it's actually in, in, in. No. Bro, the people are gonna roast you in the comments right now for never doing that. I can't I would do dip salt my and cheeseburger. sweet. I'd dip a baconator in fucking no, frosty. That's no, that's too much. You would actually love fries dipped in it. It's so good. It's like salty sweet Kelvin. Yeah. Trust. Amazing. <sighs> oh, man. Anyways, this is my shake. Typically, I've shelled my beard right now. Typically, I do it right at the gym. We have like a protein bar. And I know a guy who owns a company, so I typically peel, steal protein from back there and I have it on my drive home. But, make an ice cream tonight. Actually really good, not gonna lie. All right, we're gonna watch Power. His 50 Cent just got out of jail and he's about to fuck some bitches up. So, we're gonna put on the TV, watch some Power, and then I will see you guys in a little bit for my final meal of the day. <laughs> So this is the final meal of the day. My one fat protein source, I guess you call it, I either have beef or salmon, typically we've been having a lot of salmon lately. I'm gonna just get the omegas in, be nice and healthy before bed. But I like to chop it up like this before putting it in the microwave. One bite cold, why not? But I think I find it dries the salmon out a little bit less when you're recooking it. So chop it up, heat it up. And then I have some green beans in the air fryer. Get nice and burnt. Burnt veggies are the best veggies. Also, every night, my array. What the fuck is on the floor? On the floor. My array of a lot of supplements. I'm gonna have magnesium every night. It's gonna help you relax at night, can help you go to the bathroom, reduce stress, you know, all the good stuff. And it's just a great mineral will have in your body. So dump in some of this and it tastes good. Orange flavor. And this is sweetened with stevia, so finish the day off naturally. Hashtag health. And there you have it. final meal of the day. 200 grams of salmon or steak, you can cut a steak or grab a bison, whatever I'm feeling that day. A little bit of green beans, aka a veggie of choice. Some magnesium from Revive, use called T-Bum, and that's it for the day. So, everything I eat in a day currently, it's around, I should probably calculate it, maybe I'll have Calvin put it in after I calculate it, but it's just under 3,000 calories and I just cut this meal. So I was eating the exact same thing, but this meal had another 350 grams of potato with this final meal. I keep saying the word meal, it's late. But we just cut all the, that out. I like to personally cut my carbs in my final meal. If I'm gonna cut them out of any meals, because at the end of the day, you go to bed after you're hungry, it's whatever, just go to sleep. And you know, having an empty stomach going to bed sometimes is kind of nice. So I'm gonna get this down, wake up, and repeat the exact same thing again. 
and again, and again. For how many days, babe? 38. 38? <laughs> yeah. Holy shit, I thought it was 48. Wow, that's scary when you get such a small number. It says on the fridge, so Groundhog Day, same thing over and over again. But less food, more and more, more and more cardio, so joyous be the day. That's it, so thank you guys for watching. See you in the next video and in the next full day of eating. <laughs> Leave me alone, God. What the hell, Kelvin?